प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू यू आई पाथ एक्सपो हब चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन बी द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू वॉच द लेटेस्ट ऑटोमेशन वीडियो हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट द वीवी डॉट नेट कोड स्ट्रिंग डॉट इक्वल्स दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर सेटिंग अप अ क्वेश्चन फॉर समबडी राइट वेयर द user has to answer something and you have to match with the with the correct answer so that is where this particular function will be very very useful string dot equals okay this is the vv.net code that we have to learn okay before we get on to a practical demo of how to utilize let's slightly understand what it is string equals function is to check the specified two string object values are same or not right and this is the syntax guys and let me show you anyways in the demo and this is going to return the boolean value string dot equals going to return the boolean value so let's get started and see the demo all right so here what i am going to do i am going to create a input dialog box and i am going to ask question to the user where he has to select some answer okay so here just to take it make it very simple i am going to type a very simple question which is relevant to our channel uh, so let's say did you subscribe to our channel so you can put any kind of question you want to ask to the user you can put a question did you subscribe to our channel right did you subscribe to let me say ui path expo hub all right so you can put your own question so once you have this question you have to uh, there will be two answer let's say yes or no or could be multiple so how to do that how do you get those options written let me show you that technique so all you do is put curly braces and let's say here the answer could be yes right or comma or it could be no right if you have multiple ones then put comma you can put multiple things whichever kind of question you are putting otherwise this is fine okay this is the format guys so curly braces in double quote i am writing my options whatever the options are if let's say generally you will have four options so comma comma four the last one you don't have to put a comma okay simple all right so i have set my question now here i want to store it to a variable which i have already created a string variable called input variable i am going to store that user input into this variable done after that what i am going to do i am going to create a assign activity and here i'll create another variable called output variable which i have already created you can do control plus k and create one and here i am going to simply write an answer let's say yes i am writing okay yes so these are all string variables i have created if you see if i highlight you will see these are the string variables i have created all right so once i i write yes so what would happen i want to show you how do you utilize string dot equals very very important one we need to learn it so for this let me use a if activity and here in the if activity i have to write that so i am going to show you two different ways to write the condition so what i want to write if input variable i mean whatever customer is choosing input variable is equals to output variable then say thank you if not say please subscribe whatever it is right what depending on your question or your answer is incorrect or your answer is correct whatever message you like to put so how do i design that so let me show you there are two two ways to write it okay let me first show you the first way okay so the first way to write us you can simply write string dot equals okay so this is your uh, function you have written equals string function and in the bracket if you put it says a as integer b as integer right so there are two variables you have to put so our first variable is input variable comma your second variable is output variable okay so i have written two variables so this is your syntax string dot equals so this is one way so let's say both of them do match then you will put a simple message box and i'm going to show you the next way okay the other way to write it there are multiple ways you can write it so message box here i am saying thank you if you are subscribed if he, if he is saying yes this matches then it will say thank you in case he is saying no i did not subscribe then it will say please subscribe let's say please subscribe okay so this is one way let me run you and i am going to show you the second way of vv.net code 
string dot equals okay string equals how to use that okay so right now it is going to show me a question all right did you subscribe to uipath export channel let's say i am saying yes then it's supposed to say me thank you let's say if i say no then it should say me please subscribe okay i am running it again just to show you so now if i run it and say no and click on okay then it's saying please subscribe okay wonderful it is working now so the objective is to learn the uh, how to write the code now i am going to show you the second way of writing string equals vv.net function okay string equals how do you write so this is one way very simple the other way you can also start by writing the variable dot then you can say equals okay and then in the bracket if you put bracket it is going to give you a hint so here object as object so here you have to write the variable so my next variable is output variable right so i'm writing that so you are writing input variable dot equals to whatever the next string variable so when i compare both of them if they are equal then it will say the answer so for example let me run it and show you okay so there are two different ways always you can write in vb.net okay so now this has prompted me did you subscribe let me say yes and it is going to say thank you did you see how it is working and this is small small things but once you learn it it will be very very useful while during your programming on ui path thank you very much guys for joining us please do subscribe to our channel and we are going to come up with lot of ui path vb.net language codes that you wanted to learn because once many people get into ui path they wonder how to use the vb.net codes where they do not have a coding background specifically for those people who do not have a coding background for them i am making this playlist and this is going to help you a lot please go through all the small small videos i am creating on uipathvb.net just go through them and i am sure make a start making note of the codes so that you will learn and i am sure you will you will be very very confident you will not be afraid of any kind of interview or coding something you will be very 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 confident so please go through all of that please subscribe to our channel thank you very much guys you guys have a wonderful day